Hey guys, so today I am going to do a video, just kind of a little crash course, I guess, all about overdrawing our lips. As most of you guys may know, uh, pretty much all the time I overdraw my lips a little bit. Um, I've gone through many, many bad disasters of overdrawing my lips where it's turned out terrible and like I looked like a clown with it like super rounded and I've been through it. It's okay if you've been through it too. I would hope that we all have. If you miraculously just were able to overline your lips beautifully from the start, then damn, some motherfucking props to you. So today we are going to do six colors. I was only going to do three and I thought three was pushing it, but whatever. My lips are going to be raw after this, but it's for the tutorial. It must be done. I've had my coffee today. Can you guys tell? I'm like, oh, I'm all happy. Do you guys ever have like an itch on your face but your makeup's all done so you just sit there like oh, tapping the shit out of it? Yup, my face is itchy as fuck right now, I don't know why. Anyways, we are going to be first going in with Nude and with the Nude I am using the LA Splash Cosmetics uh, Liquid Lipstick in Ghoulish. So first off we are just going to pretty much fill in our lips. Fill in your natural shape completely. As you can see, I'm not doing it too perfect. It doesn't have to be absolutely amazing right now because we're just gonna draw over it anyways. Now that that's pretty much done, we are going to use the brush. So I just put a little bit of the lipstick on my hand and then dip the brush into it. Make sure this doesn't have any black on it. It does. Let's get all that black off first. And then now we're gonna start with our bottom lip. What you want to keep in mind is that the corners of your mouth, the more product you add to the corners, the less natural it's going to look. You might end up with kind of that rounded effect, which definitely doesn't look very natural because most lips kind of come to that point. So keep in mind to try to stay generally in your same area for where your lips end. And I'll just kind of show you guys how I do this. Going a little bit over here, but... In pretty much staying to the natural shape. And then I'll bring it down. Make sure to go like this to make sure it's all even. Now for the top lip, it's pretty much the exact same thing. Um, keep this more natural, but you definitely want to connect it. This bottom lip now I made larger on that side so if I kept my top lips how they are now it looks a little uneven so try to keep that as natural as possible but also definitely go just a tiny bit above your natural lip line and then I'll get to the cupid's bow in a second and if you fuck up a lot that's okay concealer got you covered Oh shit, like that. Keep in mind that it's so much easier to add more than to have to sit there and try to sit with your concealer brush and like get it off and off and off. So, especially when you're just starting out lining your lips like this, go slow and take your time really look at it in the mirror and make sure it looks even and symmetrical it you know may take some practice but it's so much better to start small and build up than it is to just be like whoa yeah my lips look big and good because then you're going to be sitting there with concealer going oh what did i just do fuck we are going to largen up the cupid's bow i already have a little oops, a little cupid's bow going on kind of well, decently but i like it to be bigger i like that cupid's bow to be like Oh, hello. I just have a cute little, little lips. How about you? So we're just going to enlarge that. Now this, I definitely go a little higher on, but I would still say to stick to your natural lip shape. Whether you have a really intense cupid's bow or not, you know, you gotta stick with what you got if you do want it to look more natural. I used to be, I was drawing mine on like super heart-like, and it looked 
it's too bad it was so intense so on my lips I want to keep with basically this shape but just make it a little bit bigger I always do this with my lips. I absolutely always set them, even if they are liquid to matte, with, um, what am I trying to say? Translucent powder. So I always use the Makeup Forever HD powder, and um, what this will do is just really hold it in place. It already does stay in place really well, but I always like doing this because I just feel that it can, it mattifies it out so much that those lines that you have for your lips just kind of sometimes can really disappear and meld back into your lipstick. Like it pretty much makes all of the skin that you do with your lipstick the same consistency and um, usually when your lips are over lines sometimes you can tell really well because the skin itself looks different than the lip skin, if that makes sense. So doing this I feel just makes it all kind of blend together. So as you guys can see, the main trick I would give you about nude lips and making them look, you know, more natural is um, setting it so that it, with that powder, so that, that your skin and your lip skin are the same consistency and, you know, layering it on a little bit. You know, if you do want a little more, you can always line it with a little bit of a darker liner, you know, around the same color range and blend that very well and just have a tiny tiny line showing and maybe kind of ombre in the lips a little bit and that will kind of create a little bit more of a pouty look and it'll make your lips look a little more natural since where the darker color will be will basically be on your skin and blending into your lips. Now we are going to go into the light neon -y coral orange color. I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Neon Coral. So, doing the same thing, filling our lips. Okay, so now I am going to definitely be lining these lips because without that, they look a little intense. So I'm using Click from ColourPop Cosmetics. It's like a ready orange color. with a little bit of a darker color will just help give your lips some more dimension so that the lighter's color really brings the poutiness of your lips out. We're then going to mattify it. As for cleaning up, I'm just using a small uh, angled brush from Morphe Brushes and my Chantilly Concealer. As you can see, I kind of fucked up this side, so... Just put the concealer, use the concealer and your brush to really get that precise line you want and then blend it out. Now we are going to go with red. I'm going to be using Jeffree Star Cosmetics Red Rum Liquid to Matte Lipstick, which is amazing. It's such a beautiful, true red. I just, it's one of my favorite reds ever. So, doing the same thing like every other video, you'll see my lips start getting more and more raw.
Now with red, I would definitely suggest taking your time because I overline my lips, you know, every time I wear lipstick and I still fuck up red all the time. Too often than not. So work slow because fucking concealing that shit is a bitch because it, then it gets like mixed into your foundation and turns this fucking pinkish color and so take your time. Like that. I was not taking my time. I was just working on through and I thought, yeah, go up a little bit. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. So usually if it's kind of wet, I just go like this. Boom. And it takes all my foundation with it, but I don't care. I'd rather that than try to redo everything. I just kind of... When this is all dry, we'll put on some mattifying powder. see the difference already let me see if I can focus in how this side I put the mattifying powder on the top oh, fuck I hope you can see I hope it's sharp enough and that line is already kind of disappeared because it's blended in with the powder and oops and this side still isn't because I haven't put powder on it yet it's kind of insane the difference that the powder does make So now we are doing purple. I am using Jeffree Star Cosmetics I'm Royalty. If you do want it to be outlined a little bit though, I went ahead and darkened the outer corners and line with ColourPop's leather liner. Okay, now on to our peachy pink color. I'm going to be using Lovely from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Now, you could leave it as this if that was what you wanted. Um, the line still will show a little bit, but it's not too, too bad. But I would suggest using a little bit of a liner around it. I'm going to use a little bit of Soar, and this is from MAC. It's just like a darker kind of muted pink, and I'm just going to gently give a little bit of color right to the edges. Now we find ourselves with dark red. I am using Heathers from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's not exactly red. I mean, it is red, but it has like some brown to it. I love it. It's one of my favorite colors from Anastasia. So we're just gonna fill in our lips for the blah blah time. Like it goes on so creamy and smooth.
now that we're done kind of outlining the lips, I did want to outline them in black. I know that some of the colors I have been doing in this tutorial have been a little repetitive, but um, a lot of you guys have requested many of the colors, so I wanted to show you all of them, but I wanted to make some of them different than the others. So this one I am using black, and it is from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. It's the Tarde uh, Lip Pencil. That's how all the girls do their lipstick where I'm from Burkina. And then we're going to put red back over it. Because we fancy, huh? Yeah, we are. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. It was a lot of fun to do. I'm glad that I could finally do a video of my overlining because I know you guys have wanted to see that for a while and I have been wanting to do it. I just, I don't know. I just didn't do it yet, but now I did. It is done and I am happy. If you guys have any other questions, let me know down below and I will have all product details that I used in this tutorial down below as well so that you can check out the products if you're interested and that's it. Until next time.